Hello friends, it's fun to be here with you. We've been making story ornaments to tell the story of Jesus all the way from Christmas through Epiphany. There are 12 days in between there. That's where the term 12 days of Christmas comes from. Starts on Christmas Day and it goes all the way to January 6th, which is the Epiphany when we celebrate the wise ones reaching Jesus. So the first day we got together, we made this. We made the city of Bethlehem. Let me bring it a little closer and let me turn it. There we go, screen's reversed, I have to fix that. Uh, so you can see the buildings and you can see a little moon overhead. And Joseph and Mary were traveling to Bethlehem because the census was on. The, they were told that they had to go back to their city of origin and be counted. That's what the census was. So they were traveling there despite the fact that Mary was very, very pregnant. And they, when they got there, she wound up giving birth to Jesus there in Bethlehem. So that's why we drew Bethlehem. And now we're going to, whoops, that was a little noisy. I'm sorry. Uh, now we're going to draw Mary. She gets her own ornament. Don't you think that's important? I wonder what it was like to be Mary, to know that you're going to have Jesus, to be asked what you think, and to say yes. That had to be some experience. And then to have him as you're traveling on this long journey. Oh, my goodness. I can't even imagine. And I've had a lot of babies. I have seven kids here. In fact, I make these story ornaments with my kids. I have seven between the ages of two and 19. And I have my older sister with Down syndrome who lives with us. And everybody likes making these either as rocks. Um, if, if you don't have um, these tree cookies here, uh, you, which you can get in a craft store, you can just make from something in the yard. You can just go collect some rocks in your neighborhood and use them. You can draw with paint pens. You can draw with Sharpies. You can draw with regular markers. It's totally up to you. There's no wrong way to do this. So let's get busy on Mary. I am not the best artist. I think I said that in the last video. Let me tell you, I like to use my pencil to start things out so that I can see if I like what I've done. When I make a face, I like to start with sort of this eggy oval shape kind of like this. I don't know how well you can see it, but I just give it a little outline. And then I start thinking about the hair. And I imagine Mary had longer hair. And I'll put more off to one side and a little bit off to this side. And then I'll start, I'll make her hair long. Women usually wore their hair long at that point. They may have had it pulled back in a braid. They may have had it in a bun. I imagine that Mary's hair was a little loose at this point because she just finished a long journey and giving birth. That's a lot to do to your hair. So I'm guessing it's down, but I wasn't there. So I don't know for certain. I don't know what color her hair really was. I don't know what color her eyes were. I'm just guessing, but we are all made in God's image. So there's no wrong choice here. If you wanna make Mary look like you, you go for it. If you want Mary to look different then you go for it. It's up to you and what you think you want on your story ornament. So that's my outline. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go with my brown marker, my brown fine tipped one. And I'm just gonna, I think it'll work better than my paint pens for this. I can make some wisps like this. And I'll have some hair that comes down. And I'm letting it be sort of messy because I know my hair was messy after I had a baby. Um, my hair's always messy anyway. So <laughs> there we go. Got, gave her some longish hair. And now I'm going to get to work on her face. I'm going to use my green marker for her eyes. I don't know what color her eyes were. I'm guessing green. And I'm going to give little slits for her green eyes there. I'm betting she was a little tired, so I kind of made them look sleepy. And then I'm going to give her a quiet smile. What's a quiet smile you're saying? I think it's a little grim, like you're happy, but you're tired. It's a quiet smile. She just went through an awful lot, a big long trip, and she had a baby. So I'm giving her a quiet smile. I'm guessing she was very happy that the journey was over, that she had her baby in her arms. So she had that quiet, contented smile on her face. Now, some people might draw a veil around her or a scarf. I'm not going to do that with this because of the wood grains on my on my tree cookies they kind of make it kind of bumpy but you could totally go for it it was the custom to wear such a thing some something over your head to keep off the dust or for modesty i imagine mary had one but because of the wood grains i'm afraid it's gonna come out weird so i'm just gonna leave it like this these are my first two story ornaments the city of bethlehem and mary and join us next time we're gonna make joseph he gets his own ornament thank you for joining us bye